Happy New Year. Wanted to make a starting fresh type of vlog. First vlog of 2024. I really just want to come into a place of peace, cleanliness, readiness for this new year. The house has been kind of reset since the holidays and anything left to do we're gonna do today, but I just want this vlog to feel very like starting fresh, resetting my space and catching up because that's another thing that I constantly feel behind on is catching up. So just a little new year's vlog, casual day in life. It probably won't go up until close to February though because like I just said, I feel constantly behind and I'm still editing, filming and posting a lot of my end of the year videos. I just got such a late start on them this year, but my books read in 2023 videos coming out, I need to film my journals for 2024 video today. And then I still need to film the 2024 goals and resolutions video that I do every single year as well and get that posted. So I'm a little bit behind, but I'm not trying to stress about it because I just gotta take it day by day. I don't really talk about my mental health online that much anymore. I don't know when I became kind of more private about it but if you've been following me for a while then you kind of know what's going on or if you just know you know and that's kind of been like up and down a lot more condensed lately and sometimes at the exact same time which if you have like cyclothymia i don't know i don't know if i want to talk about it i think the four hours of daylight and lack of vitamin d for months is probably playing a big part I got a little bit of filming to do today. I wanna to set up for the new year and just make sure that I am setting myself up for success. So welcome to today's vlog. My morning routine recently has been the New York Times games. I do the crossword puzzles, connections, Wordle, and my favorite spelling bee. I usually go over emails. Oh, I just got a reminder. I have a work call this evening. I guess this is like kind of a very light work day in life. I don't wanna say this is a work day because I know that it's a very easy work day. I forgot I have a call with a brand at five, which is exciting. And then I also just got an email for this campaign that I honestly forgot about during the holidays. It just kind of like slipped through the cracks and they just sent over some details as to what I need to do to film that reel. Welcome to today's vlog. Happy 2024. Let's get the year started. Hanging up my new Llewellyn botanical calendar for the year and look at how beautiful this is. This has a very like floral theme. I wanted to mix it up because I did crystals two years ago and then this one is very witchy. This one is still spiritual, but it has like an herbal element. It's just stunning. I, I have to look at June. June's my birth month and June is sunflowers. Ah, I love it. It's so beautiful, but we are starting with Sitka spruce. It withstands the chill breath of winter's rain, offering peace and protection to all who shelter near. Hang, hang a branch above your door to attract benevolent spirits or burn it in incense to cleanse your sacred space. So there still are like spiritual elements in this, but I'm really excited. I'm gonna link it down below. Definitely go get yourself a Llewellyn calendar. Got ready a little bit because I need to film hopefully two other videos as well as this video today. A couple weeks ago for Christmas Eve, I went to Ashton's grandma's house, which is always fun. And I was talking to his cousin's fiance. I was admiring the shoes that she wore over to Christmas Eve and she totally influenced me to buy the same pair because she had like the little slipper Ugg dupes with bear paw and like, thought about it but once I saw them there and she was telling me how comfy they were and how they cost so much less than the actual Ugg slippers not to mention the Ugg ones are always sold out I was like done you've influenced me I have to get a pair so after New Year's Eve I totally ordered some from Bear Paw I hope this deal is still going on right now but I did a lot of research online because I wanted to get like the cheapest pair I could find and Target distributes Bear Paw slippers through their website. And because I have a Target Red card, I got them on sale. Not only were they on sale through Target, but I had a 5% discount. So I got these for like $50, but they're listed at I think $70 off of Bear Paw. But then Target had them on sale and then I had the discount on top of it. So it was the best deal. I definitely didn't want to spend like $180 or something on the Ugg versions when these are honestly just going to be walked in in snow and mud. And I just wanted them 
them to be super cute. So shout out to Ashton's cousin's fiance for um, influencing me to buying the cutest little bear paw slippers. They're so soft. Oh my God, how cute. I love them. I also love that they were $50, not 180, but if they're still available, I'll link them down below. But these are the best. Speaking of Christmas, I did vlog a little bit. I thought I was gonna post like a Christmas vlog and then I never did. So I'll just insert the clips here to really just end the year, start this year off in this like starting fresh vlog. Here are all the clips from Christmas. Definitely breaking these in today. I'm so glad I got those, honestly. The other thing that has been piling up in this house that I want to go through and start fresh is this pile of PR packages that has been piling up during the holidays. I'm always so grateful for them, but they've definitely been piling up and I've been wanting to open these so badly. So let's do a quick PR unboxing. Starting right on top, we've got this one from Wild. If you're unfamiliar, Wild is a natural deodorant brand. The packaging has been through it, but they sent over this wild deodorant and then three little refills for it. I'm really excited to use these because I've been using Native for years and I know Native doesn't work for everyone, but it has worked for me. I would never use aluminum deodorant ever again in my life. So I'm really excited to try. Oh, okay, so not only are these natural deodorants, but you don't throw this away. This is like reusable, it's empty, so you get different refills and you stick it in. I love that. So they sent over fresh mountain air, Prosecco and winter berries, and then spiced orange and pear. Thank you so much, Wild. I will link everything down below. I've been running low on deodorant, so this is perfect. Next, I got a new cocktail shaker. Couldn't be more perfect timing because I went into a little bit of a martini fixation around the holidays and I didn't have a cocktail. Uh, okay, I have a plastic cocktail shaker, but like really old and really cheap. So I definitely knew I needed to invest in one. My friend Maddie, let me borrow hers when she would come over and we'd make drinks. The universe definitely has divine timing because right when I needed a cocktail shaker out of nowhere, this company emailed me asking to send me this beautiful one. Like I'm really excited to make some drinks in these. I can definitely make non-alcoholic drinks as well using three spirits and other mixers that I have because it is hard. I feel like I've talked about this briefly, but we know it's hard to not drink, but it's easier if you substitute. There it is but it's easier if you substitute it with a fun drink. Got everything here. Thank you so much to this company. I'm linking this down below. It's heavy, it's nice quality, and it's making me excited to make some drinks. Okay. Next. I'm pretty sure I know what this one is. Oh yeah, New Tropics. They sent over some mushroom capsules. So this is lion's mane and then this one is tiger milk. I'm working with them on Instagram Reels. So this is the product that I need to make the content. That's also the brand deal that I mentioned earlier that I said like slipped through the cracks during the holiday season. And like, I don't know, I'm like missing the brief and all this stuff. So I think they sent over all the details today so I can hopefully get that filmed within the next few days, sent over for approval and get paid. Cause it's really slim right now in January. So I will take anything I can get. Next one. It smells. It smells like not. Oh, that's why. Aromatherapy shower steamers. This is from a shop on Amazon. So I will link them down below. They sent over some shower steamers. Vegan, cruelty free, really, really nice. I kind of want to open them right now. Shower steamers are basically like bath bombs, but for the showers, so you just place them in your shower. And as the water helps like melt it. It just makes your shower smell so good and it's very therapeutic, but I have all of these beautiful. So thank you so much for, to the company for sending this. I'm excited to try these. So I don't know how this happened. A couple of vlogs ago, I unboxed Cloudy slippers, which I love, and they sent over another pair. So thank you so much to Cloudy's. I think I might actually have a discount or an affiliate code, both hopefully. So I'll link them down below, but Cloudy's sent over 
some more slippers. These are slightly different than the ones that I have. This has like the fur on the inside, whereas the other ones I have was just pink. I don't know if I needed a another pair of those, so I might see if I have a friend who's the same shoe size as me and gift them, pass it along. But thank you to Cloudies. I do really recommend these slippers. They're so soft. I do wear mine around the house all the time. So I'll link them down below. Check them out. I'm pretty sure they're like pretty affordable too. And the last one, no idea what this one is. Big thank you and shout out to my post office because they always handle my packages so well. I had to go change the battery, but yeah, my post office always handles my packages so well. They put a rubber band around all of the ones that were waiting for me the other week when I went to go pick them up. They know me by name, probably because I am the one with all the packages. They're really kind, they're really sweet. I'm always really appreciative of them because when I come in, if they see me, they'll never make me wait in line. Not like, like I do, like I will. I'm very patient, but if they see me, they'll be like, so-and-so, go grab Michaela's packages, and they'll like go get them for me. And then one time I had a ton of packages and one was really, really heavy. And one of the mail carriers that I see often in there, he walked them all out to my car for me. Like they are the best. I really, really appreciate it. I've been at that PO box location for like almost three years now. And I hope I never have to change because I really like that one. What is this? Electric cleaning brush. Is this one of those cleaning brushes that you see on TikTok all the time? I have another one, but it's like really, really long. So I like how this one is more portable and easy to hold. It looks very sturdy. Oh yeah. I got all of the brush options here. I think it comes with like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven brush oh eight i have eight brush head options i've been in such a cleaning mode lately with like the start of the new year i feel like it just makes you want to clean and cleanse and reset your space and your home and i have been doing all of that so this will be very very nice to have oh also if you saw my thrifting vlog um i don't know how long ago that was at this point a couple months ago you saw that i got this beautiful candlestick centerpiece I didn't have a third tapered candle, but I have been using it. I love it so much. I have been scouring the internet looking for this just to get a value price point because I have no idea where it's from, how old it could be, or like if it's worth anything, and I can't find it anywhere online. I've image searched it on Google, Etsy, eBay, nothing. There's similar ones, but I cannot find this one exactly, but it's like a brass crystal three-tier tapered candle stand. But I love it. It's very, very messy right now because I just unboxed everything but that has been on my coffee table and it's the best also for Christmas I'm in a slime phase Ashton got me two slimes from the slime shop I got this tiramisu one which smells really good and then the birthday cake one and this is like a marshmallow slime highly 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 recommend if we're like watching a movie at night or something we're both like playing with slime should I become a slime channel because this is amazing like i would sit here and play with this all day if i could the tiramisu one it's very very textured and it's it's crunchy it's so good i really recommend okay i am going to clean up this mess and then while it is still sunny and beautiful out like literally look at this look at this oh also i have been hooking my plants more because the growth does not stop it is a jungle in here but i love it while it's still sunny and beautiful outside i'm going to film my 2024 journal layouts and how i structure and organize my new journals for the year so i can get that up before this video so definitely check it out if you haven't yet i need to clean up that and then by then it'll be dark out i guarantee it but i need to film my 2024 goals video as well and then i also have that meeting in three hours with a brand so it's a little bit of a work day a little bit of a starting fresh day resetting my space i'm gonna go film though and i'll check in in a bit I've just been filming for like three, four hours now. So the sun is setting. I'm in my room because this is like the last place where I can get lighting before it's gone. But I filmed my 2024 journal setup video for my writing journal as well as my manifestation journal. I filmed a video on my favorite pages in my 2023 journal to share some layouts and just like snippets of my journal. Is that it actually? One, two, three. It just had so much. I had to film like overlays of my journal and pictures for like like the thumbnail and Instagram, but it's 4.30. I've got a call at five and I have not eaten yet today because I didn't want to lose daylight. But now that the sun is setting, like 
You can see it right there. I need to eat breakfast at 5 p.m. LOL real quick and then hop on this Google meet meeting with a company It's for like a potential brand deal and pretty much I think I even signed the contract like it's gonna happen But it's pretty common where companies want. Oh my god. The lighting is so pretty down here Should I have filmed down here instead? Look at that I just want to like hop on a call to make sure we're on the same page talk about like the video concept and I don't really know. It just varies for each brand, but it's just to, to make sure that we're good and that the campaign is like happening. I mean, hopefully it's easy to like manage. Most brands are like very easy to work with and communicative and it'll make sense. So I'm sure it'll go great. And then once I can get that secured, it'll be really great because that is like um, a paycheck waiting to happen. So yeah, I'm gonna make like avocado toast or something for my 4.30 p.m. breakfast. Definitely looks prettier and more like golden hour in person. It's very gold in here right now, but the sun is setting. The sunroom right now is pretty bright, but it is like it's bright on this side of the house, but this is like the one window left that has sunlight and then it gets really dark back there. Oh my God, the little bit of vitamin D that I'm gonna get today, hey. And then I don't know if I shared this yet in this video, but I'm actually going to a Taylor Swift dance party event tonight. It's basically just a venue that has a DJ who only plays Taylor Swift songs all night. I'm really excited. I went to this one last year, so I know it's going to be really fun. It's at the Fillmore. I'm going with my friend Maddie. I think we're meeting for dinner first Gotta make sure that we are fed because we went to a very similar one last weekend actually at a different venue and it was so much fun. So I'm so excited. We were so exhausted the next day, like not only a little bit hungover, but also sore from dancing, standing up. My neck was so sore. It's gonna be so fun though. I'm definitely gonna vlog as much as I can. I vlogged it last year when I went. So maybe I'll link that above just for some fun and then down below. That's tonight. So after this meeting at five, I'm going to edit for a few hours. Ooh, will I have time? I have to be there at 7.30 and it's five to 5.30. So I have to leave at like seven, but I'm gonna have to start getting ready at 6.30. I'll have an hour. So I'll try to edit as much as I can in that hour, get some work done, and then head off to Taylor Swift night. I just finished the meeting with this brand. It went so well. I'm so excited. I, I don't know if it's coming out before or after this video, but there is a really fun brand deal coming out soon with a new uh, platform similar to uh, OnlyFans. And I'm gonna be one of the first people to try it out. And what I really loved about talking with the three creators of this platform is they kept reiterating, thank you, Luna, about how Nat, okay about how natural and organic they want it to be. So, you know, sometimes with brands, they send over scripts or talking points, or, you know, they have a very specific idea as to how they want it to be. But tonight they were just like, yeah, we don't want to interfere too much. Like test out the platform, give it a go. Like, we just want to see what you think naturally about it, like authentically. And I'm like, this is amazing. This is like best case scenario. So I think I can mention it. Like, why wouldn't I be able to mention it? And then if it's up, already which it should be at this point i don't know if it's up but it's gonna be cheeked up so it's gonna be kind of like a um a peachy platform for just cheeky cheeky pics which i love especially in the summer like i'll take those booty pics all day so this is a platform designed specifically for those types of the battery died but yeah this is a platform for those types of pictures this is such a funny angle to me oh my god they have a really good affiliate program as well so only fans takes like 20 percent, but this website they take less and they have different tiers so the more that you bring in the less that they take which is really really cool they have a creator affiliate program too so there's just so many more ways i feel like to make money i'm really excited to just give it a go i'm just waiting for some talking points which they don't even like have much to tell me they were just like we just want you your honest feedback on the website so this is going to be a really really fun collaboration i just have to send over an email with some payment details we'll get that going and then what time is it 
5.30, yeah. I have like an hour and a half before I have to leave for Taylor Swift, but like an hour before I have to get ready. So I'm gonna get some work done in the office, send over an email to the team and start planning that video. So be on the lookout for that, but I'm sure my Cheeked Up account has been created. So little sneak peek if you're watching and wanna subscribe, I'll link it down below. I don't know what it's called yet. I have no idea like what to expect, but okay, I'm gonna get work done. tonight it was so much fun i had the best time at the fillmore for the taylor swift event it was so great being next to so many swifties the girls next to me were having the time of their lives and it was fun to dance with them and get to know them they even gave me a bracelet which oh my god I had my pile of bracelets to bring and I forgot them. So the fact that even though I didn't have a bracelet to trade, they still gave me a bracelet. I was like, thank you so much. I forgot my bracelets. Like it was so sweet. I love my bracelet. So they were really, really sweet. I do, I'm so grateful that we got next to some girls that were awesome, but it was so much fun. I had the best night with Maddie. It is 2.15 a.m. and I'm in bed, but I'm here, I'm safe, I'm in bed. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog and I'll see you real soon. 2024, I've got so many video ideas that I want to create, so it's gonna be a great year. Last weekend, I went to a Taylor Swift night like this and I woke up super sore and had to take the rest of the weekend off, so this is my late 20s, I guess. I'm just anticipating being sore and hungover tomorrow, even though I only had like a beer. I guess I had two champagne problems. It was really cute. I loved it. It was, they had like themed drinks and everything. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Good night. I'll see you soon. Bye.